Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. Colonies in Ruins by Antoine Price is a collection of intriguing short stories about foreign colonies of the Asia-Pacific region, British Malaya, French Indochina, the Dutch East Indies, and the U.S. Philippine Islands. For a very long time, these colonies had generated fabulous wealth from mining and agriculture for their colonial masters, but colonial life came to an end December 8, 1941, as they were each attacked by Japanese forces soon after the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor was devastated. Following three years of harsh Japanese occupation, the clear focus of local people was to gain independence from foreign powers that tried to reclaim their former colonies. Hard-won battles and negotiations finally led to the emergence of Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, and the Philippines as new republics in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Colonies in Ruin is the story of the men and women who helped make it all happen. Antoine Price was born in Singapore of British parents, attended Fort Street School in Sydney, St. Mark's School in Dallas, then Harvard College and the University of Oklahoma, a U.S. Marine of the late 1950s, a multilingual worldwide resident thereafter. He's recently republished two books of an eventual trilogy about the Asia-Pacific region. Antoine Price, author of the highly praised historical fiction Colonies in Ruin, Transformed by the Pacific War, our guest on This Week in America. Antoine, welcome to the program, sir. It's great to have you with us. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. And uh, I am thanks looking for the nice introduction. Well, you're welcome. It's all what you've done. And uh, there's a mar- remarkable story you're telling. And someone who's fascinated by history, you you have this ability to bring the story to life, to take what we read sometimes in history and its words, and you've you've lifted them off the page and make the story quite vivid. What gave you this idea to write short stories about the, the pre-war colonies of, of Asia Pacific? Well, I guess it's because I grew up there. You know, I was born in Singapore and, and uh, my parents moved to Java soon after that. And then uh, we were there a couple of years, went to Canada, and then uh, in 1942, in uh, June, no, July 1942, we went by ship uh, through the Pacific to Australia. My, uh, and uh, in June 42 had been uh, the, uh, the Battle of Midway, which there's a movie about right now. And then in August came the Marines landing on Guadalcanal. We came right between those two uh, events. And, and uh, got to Sydney, and I spent five years there as a boy until after the war. And so then I came to Texas, became a, a U.S. citizen and a Marine, and finished my high school and university, and kind of forgot about that until I was, uh, I, I had a job on manufacturing, and I was sent on a business trip to Hong Kong and Singapore and Taiwan. And all of a sudden, the memories came flooding back, and I had an opportunity to move to Taiwan a, a couple of years later so with my family. So we spent five years in, in the island of Taiwan and going working all over Southeast Asia, like South Korea, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, so on, Malaysia, Philippines. Yes. And all the memories came flooding back. So uh, after that, we went to Europe for... A, a decade, and then I retired and decided to write up all these memoirs originally. And then I did a lot of research <clears throat> uh, about well, the war and the history of the different colonies. And it was so interesting, I really wanted to share that. And Colonies in Ruins is actually a series of short stories, one for each of the different uh, uh, former colonies. And it tells what how they came into being, what happened during the war, uh, World War II, and then what happened afterwards. Some of them had to battle communism. Some of them simply negotiated freedom. And eventually, today, they're all independent nations. This is Vietnam, the Philippines, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, and so on. And I even mentioned two places that were Japanese colonies and one was called Formosa, which is today known as Taiwan, 
and the other was to Korea, which is an unresolved situation where North and South Korea are still oh, yes. at each other's throats. Well, it's so interesting, your insight into how each of these colonies handled the situation. And in reading reviews, you're praised for your research, for your historical detail. Talk about insight and how this really helped you. We can read books when somebody just does the the insight, but they're not personally attached. For you, this is personal, isn't it? It is. Uh, it is a, uh, there are bits of our memoirs in there. But there's a lot of people, as I flew back and forth across the Pacific, I would chat with old Pan Am stewards that had been stationed okay. you know, in those areas. And I picked up a lot of stories uh, that I was able to weave in here, and I overlaid that on the true historical record. I mentioned that the, the book is part of a trilogy. Talk about that, and where do you stand with the other books? Well, um, that book itself is, is number two of the trilogy. I've already published uh, the first one, which was called Paradise in Ruins. And it is a, a story about the war itself, a diff, um, the civilians and the people who lived in the, in the Pacific region when suddenly the war erupted. So it's been out, and uh, Colonies in Ruins is the second, and I'm working on the third one. Perhaps not as fast as I should, but <laughs> hopefully we'll get there. <laughs> I'm sure it will be a remarkable story as well. Our guest on the program is Antoine Price, author of Colonies in Ruins, Transformed by the Pacific War. You, of course, will we'll find it at Amazon, also uh, authorreputationpress.com. If you're Googling, Antoine is A-N-T-W-Y-N. Of course, go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and you can log on directly. I mentioned historical fiction. I mentioned the research that that you did for the book. Uh, talk about that that balance, uh, historical fiction, yet it's based on a lot of fact. How did you go about uh, putting the book together and, and combining those two elements? Well, that was that was interesting. I, I inter, interfaced uh, fictional characters and real people. For example, I might have an imaginary U.S. naval officer meeting Admiral Nimitz, you know, so yes. you'd, to keep people from getting totally confused, I had a list of all the fictional characters in the beginning of the book. But I've more or less inter, interplayed these imaginary characters involved in the actual historical record. And we thank you as a reader for putting that list in there at the beginning. And you've got maps as well. So as we're reading these, we think we know where they are and you, you show us. It, it really helps with the, with the story content, Colonies in Ruins by Antoine Price, our guest on the program. Now living in Texas, you mentioned uh, born in Singapore. Uh, talk about getting from Singapore to, uh, to the great state of Texas. I, I got here as quick as I could, <laughs> as they always say. Um, well, uh, I, my, my uncle was transferred. He worked for Kellogg's in Canada, and he got transferred to Sydney, and I went over with him uh, and spent the five years there. When we came back, uh, my mother was then had gone to... Um, Parsons School in New York to study architecture and interior design. <clears throat> and we got back to the States. My uncle dropped me off with my mom and carried on to Battle Creek, Michigan, and then on to England. So there I was in Texas, not knowing very much about America at all. And I uh, went to St. Mark's School in Dallas and did all my high school there, learned to play American football, all that good stuff. And gradually became an American. I joined the Marine Corps uh, and got a lot out of that and um, went to two universities and so forth. And I became pretty much Americanized when this chance to have an international life and go back to the Asia sort of awakened a lot of dormant memories. Antoine Price is our guest on the program. Colonies in Ruins, Transformed by the Pacific, the book we're talking about. You'll find it at Amazon. Go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Link on directly to get that information. I mentioned worldwide resident. Talk about that. Uh, obviously, Singapore, we mentioned. Some of the other countries that you write about in the book, do you, did you live in any of these as well? Oh, yes, but not all of them. Um, 
I lived in Java with my parents when I was young and Singapore and I, uh, on Australia. I spent five years in Australia. We went, after coming back to Asia as an adult with my family, we lived in Taiwan, which I also wrote about in that book. And I visited uh, Korea and the Philippines and Hong Kong very frequently. So I lived in some, the one I've never visited or lived in is Vietnam so far. You and said that so far, Marine like Corps, you, you I managed to get in and out of the Marines before. <laughs> the well, war yes, broke out. yes, thankfully. And the way you say that, it sort of, I think, would be on your list that maybe to make that trip to Vietnam at some time. Yes, I'd love to do that. It, it, the thought of flying in a plane for 15 hours is what's held me back. It's a little <laughs> discouraging, yes. And uh, yeah. waiting in the airport maybe for 20 hours to try to get out, depending on the uh, on the weather. Colonies in right. Ruins is the book Historical Fiction, Transformed by the Pacific War. Antoine Price, our guest on the program. You said the, the book is a series of short stories. Let's take one of those stories and give us maybe a plot line. Pick one of the one of the stories, one of the countries, and give us just a little bit of background. Okay, let's let's do one. I'll I'll pick on Vietnam because I never went there, <laughs> so it's 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 totally imaginary, or it's it's yes. from reading about it or talking to veterans. So there is a the story for Vietnam starts with a French policeman in Bordeaux. He's in France, and he's. He's discouraged about life, and he decides to become a monk. And after taking his orders and his vows, he gets shipped out uh, by the by the order in France to uh, French Indochina, as it was known then. And he and another monk are, are uh, helping the poor people as they are supposed to. And somehow, the the winds of war are blowing through, and the the British secret agents convince them, the two monks who live out in the in the, the boondocks, to, to have a transmitter and keep them posted on anything that they see in the way of Japanese activity. Well, Japan has by this time taken over Vietnam, and the monks discover the transmitter, and uh, uh, our friend uh, is, is wounded, and left for dead by the, uh, some Japanese soldiers who cart off the, uh, the transmitter. So he, he manages to find his way down to the head brother who sends him down to Cambodia, sort of uh, gets him out of, out of the line of fire. He recovers from his wounds and marries a Cam Cambodian woman. And after the war ends, he decides, well, he's going to go back to be a policeman after all, his, his former profession. So he eventually becomes a police captain in Saigon, in South Vietnam, and uh, he's doing pretty well there. Um, it, he brings his Cambodian wife, and they have a son. But then one one day they try to set up and uh, to catch some um, infiltrators. The, the Viet Cong is starting to uh, smuggle in weaponry, and Andre is blown up in a boat. He, he gets killed. And his wife then becomes a, a marriage counselor to, to make ends meet. And all through this story, you see, uh, you know, I try to portray what Saigon looked like and what, uh, what the countryside of Vietnam looked like and so on. So that's an example of one of the one of the stories. And the book is full of stories like that. The book is Colonies in Ruins, Transformed by the Pacific War. Antoine Price, our guest on the program. This is not a historical textbook where you go through and here's what happened when type of thing. It's, it, it's, it's really a well-written book that will hold your attention. And if you weren't a history buff when you started reading it, you'd be interested in nation building and what all these people went through. Talk about the audience that you wrote this for, because as I say, it's more than just history buffs, isn't it? It, it is for people who are interested in history and geography, obviously. Yes. But it's by, by making it a fictional, uh, historical fiction, I think you can weave in more uh, human interest for the readers. So the readers don't have to be historians or anything like that. Just people who are interested in the world in general, and particularly 
in Asia Pacific. Yeah, and they are great stories, as I mentioned during this time frame here, what happened, how they decided to to get together and take their countries back. All of that goes into the book, Colonies and Ruins. It's available at Amazon, link onto our website, and, uh, and get all the information. I've always been fascinated by Singapore. Always heard great things about Singapore. You've been there, born there, been there a number of times. Give me a little bit of insight into uh, to Singapore. Okay, I'll do that. That's a very interesting place. It's a lot. It's a small island at the tip of the Malay Peninsula, first of all, and uh, it was discovered, quote unquote, by uh, Raffles, Sir Stamford Raffles, in founded in eighteen nineteen. So that's about two hundred years ago. Yes. Um, and uh, became a British colony, then became a crown colony, very wealthy, produced rubber, and was more or less the, the management site for the Brits in Malaya as well, the big, uh, big peninsula to the north. Um, and it became a very prosperous colony. It was gradually militarized, but really not enough to, uh, to avoid the Japanese invasion that happened when the uh, war broke out. But after the war, um, communism spread all over Southeast Asia. And there was a 12-year battle in the Malayan jungles before the communist insurrections were, were put down. When they finally were, the British agreed to give uh, um, independence to Singapore and Malaysia, Malaya. And they were originally combined together in the state of Republic of Malaysia. But Singapore was primarily Chinese by that time. Malaya was primarily Muslim. And there were some issues. And Singapore got expelled by Malaysia and uh, had to kind of go on its own as a small republic. But it managed. And its first pre prime minister was a very capable London-trained Chinese hacker named Lee Kuan Yew. He's quite famous. Uh, he was a bit of a crusty old character, but he put Singapore on the map. He was a London-trained lawyer and became the, the prime minister for some oh, 30 years, I guess. And today, Singapore is one of the most prosperous per capita nations in the world. I was going to say, place. yeah, that's always a fascination, the quality of life there. It looks like, is it safe to compare it to New York City, a, a thriving, prosperous lifestyle, at least in Manhattan, in New York City? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it, with yes. the high-rise buildings yes. and so forth. Most Singaporeans live on some floor or other of a high building. Interesting. <laughs> there's, uh, there's not very much room to spread out. You know, but we had a company office there and did very well, um, you know, when I was back over as, a, as an adult doing business in the Far East. So uh, it's a place to be proud of. I'm, it, it's no longer a British colony and it's primarily Chinese and Malay and what have you. There's still some Europeans that live there. Well, we get to well, find get the backstory on these countries in in Antoine's book, Colonies in Ruins Transformed by the Pacific War. A couple minutes left in the program. Talk about the, the modern names of, of these countries that you write about. You write the, the short stories. And I'm so old, I remember the original names. I remember when you're talking about Pan Am, I've actually flown Pan Am, and I remember what a stewardess is. So I know all of the old names. But talk about some of the modern names of the countries you write about. Yeah, sure. Actually, in the book, I, I put maps in the front and the back, the very back and the very front. The ones in the front have the old pre-war names, you know, like it would Burma would in the back would become Myanmar and so forth. Yes. So a reader can see the changed names of the countries and cities. But anyway, Singapore is still known as Singapore, though it's a republic. Malaya became Malaysia. Um, the Dutch East Indies became uh, Indonesia, and that's, that's basically known as Java and Sumatra in the old days. And uh, the Philippines is still called the Philippines. And what's the other one? Uh, French Indochina, it became Vietnam. And we're all familiar with the war there, I'm sure, and the struggles. But with the French called the whole thing Indochina, it included Cambodia and Laos. 
Yeah, well, uh, yeah Antoine Bryce Antoine. is author of the book Colonies and Ruins Transformed by the Pacific War. The book's available at, at Amazon, all the usual places. We've got a, a couple minutes left in the program. A fascinating conversation. Uh, you mentioned the travel, and is, yeah, that travel can be difficult getting back and forth. But do, do you travel, want to travel more back to the uh, Asia Pacific region? Yeah, in the in the good old days, we all went by ship, you know, before World War Two. Oh yes, that, that, that would take weeks, but it would be a wonderful way to travel. I wish we could still do that. Um, but that, that is know, a nice the flights way. now get longer and longer. You can fly from Dallas to Sydney nonstop in fifteen hours, and you know, horrible thoughts like that. So that's basically why <laughs> I haven't done it. What's um, what what has this meant to you? Being able to to do the trilogy, the the specific book we're talking about is Colonies in Ruins Tran- Transformed by the Pacific War. What's this meant to you to be able to go back and to, uh, uh, to do this, this, this series and call attention to uh, a remarkable uh, part of the country and what they've gone through to become what they and who they are today? Well, it's the fact that there are five or six different nations today means there's not really a collective history about yes. them anymore, but where there was in, in the days before World War II. So I was just afraid the history would be forgotten. And schools don't seem to teach geography nowadays at all. So, you know, people don't relate to places like they used to. So I kind of wanted to memorialize uh, that and then made up some stories uh, about people, imaginary people who will live through the brutalities and all the ups and downs. You mentioned that you're working on the new book. How is that coming? Are you getting uh, close to uh, publishing and being able to talk oh, about oh, that oh, as I'm well? I'm still doing research. Uh, what it's about is the Spanish and and, and Portuguese uh, voyages of exploration that you know led to the new world and not really very well known is that they were out in the Far East as well. And the Philippines, of course, was a Spanish colony before the U.S. took it over in the Spanish-American War. So I wanted to get into those early explorations and see what influence those had on the colonies when the colonies developed. So it's going to be quite an interesting story, I think. And will be interesting. Hopefully we'll have a chance to, uh, to talk about that. This has been a fascinating conversation. The book is Colonies in Ruins, Transformed by the Pacific War. Antwin Price is the author and our guest on the program. Googling it, that's A-N-T-W-Y-N. Book, of course, available at Amazon. Wherever books are sold, you'll find it at Author uh, Reputation Press, the publishers as well. Antoine, it's been fun. We'll stay in touch. We'd love to have you back to talk about the uh, the new book. Great stories in the book, Colonies and Ruins. Thank you for spending some time with us on the program. You know, it's been a real pleasure to meet you. I, I expect we could chat for hours about this. We could, and maybe we'll <laughs> set really aside some... Yeah, there's so much there. We could set aside some time and actually do that. That would be fun. It's a fascinating read, Colonies in Ruins, Transformed by the Pacific War. Information at Amazon. You can link on by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Antoine Price, the author, has been with us on the program. You're listening to This Week in America. We're back after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bechet, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.